Hello, I'm Vine and welcome to Catch em All Let's Play. As you may see here, I finally named colonized planets, but I will present them after the completion of the reformation projects. Meanwhile, I also figured out what to do with Gaia World civilization. Galadex will technologically enlighten them. I know, this is not the perfect solution, they are Stone Age civilization, taking them up will take around 83 years, but that's the only way we can use Gaia World with Galadex game plan. And with this out of the way, let's get back to business. I truly hate advanced civilizations in the early game. Nonetheless, our overall successors are friendly with us. So, no aggression pact it is then. Vine decided that they hate emerging Galadex Empire. Not a fan of good sportsmanship, are we? In my last place, I stated this a couple of times, but current AI know how to play spiritualist seekers. And I'm shocked every time that I see this. Now, time for pop ball presentation. Our capital canto will be a Cumanopolis focused on housing excess pops. Joto Tundra Generator World is reserved for necromons. Then we have Sino Alpine Mining World, Alola Ocean Agri World, Galar Continental Forge World, Hisui Arctic Tech World, Ransei Fringe Planet and Kalos Savanna Machine Nexus. All names and planet types are inspired by my limited knowledge of regions in Pokemon games and influenced by compromise with Stellaris game mechanics. Planet designations, on the other hand, are pure optimization with a rule that they cannot repeat. I hope that you like this little bit of planetary flavor. Oh, hello there. You offer a defensive pact for recognition that you are a legitimate successor of Holy Fortician Empire and you still have overwhelming fleet power? Sure, no problem. You are now registered in the Galadex system as Holy Fortician Empire.
Finally! Prosperity Tradition 3 finished. Now we can take Acrology Project and transform Kanto into Ecumenopolis. Galadex finally found some interesting pop on the market, and trading is fully valid option of acquiring pops for us. So, let me tell you something about the box that we are adding to our team. Borgs evolved alongside Granites and with time got domesticated by them. They serve their masters as cheap and expendable hard labor, mostly in the mines. Technically enslaved, they are too stupid to realize their own misery. Welcome to the team. You will be living and training on Sinoc. Galatex drones found something worth excavating on Johto. Let's dig it up.
It must be fate, because after box, system found granitas on the market. They are very intelligent silicon beings that feel more kinship with synthetics than other organics. Granite has supposedly proven that our all existence is a simulation and thus anything that we experience is a lie. This line of thinking completely degraded their already questionable morality and pushed them to search for a way to escape this simulation. Welcome to the team, Granitas. You will be partnered up with Box on Xeno. Communications alert. Block of Terra requested protection from us. Kinda awkward since I'm planning to take the serious system, so no. But this political situation is an opportunity. We can force them to create a federation with us. Galadex League, a first of its kind international organization that will govern pop fights the new sport of this galaxy. And I know that this sport might appear cruel, but remember, it's not animal abuse if your fighters are not animals. Nice, our league member wants to trade his pops and about humans. They are an ancient species responsible for the origin of some modern civilizations. Their galaxy-spanning empire came to an abrupt end thousands of years ago during anomalous time storm. Even if from our perspective they have quite straight timeline existence, for humans current events of this galaxy are just another iteration of endless time loop they live in. And now you will be living on Galar. Diplomacy Tradition 3 finished. I'll take Synthetic Age Ascension Pack to micromanage Galadex drones a little, because our energy and mineral production is giving me a hard time. Yes, Kanto is finally an ecumenopolis. That was a long one for me. Galadex just dug someone up. 
So, you are the oracle. You will work for us as a judge of pop fights. It's a pleasure working with you and receiving Unity production bonus. Holy Photician <clears throat> Empire, who has seven vassals, just received a beating and have no fleets. Watch this. Now Galadex have eight vassals and we will convert them into Scholaria as soon as possible. With Galadex League, that is technically a research cooperative and AI bonuses from Commodore difficulty, this will be a very lucrative deal. Also, Block of Terra, you are out, because we wanna get serious system in next episode. Seriously, in early game? Okay, let's see how this will end. It ended miserably.
this episode is a long one, but fortunately, we are near the end. Now, look how disloyal our vassals are. Let's finish Supremacy Tradition Tree and take Shared Destiny Pack. Suddenly nobody have a problem with Galadek's lordship and started gathering up loyalty like crazy. This will be all for today. We did much, but there is still much to do. See you next time.